Hey all, welcome to what could be described as a video tutorial for Series Editor 3.5. This will describe how to use the paint tool for the purpose of creating sandwell terrain so that you can have sandwell working in your maps. So for this tutorial we'll be creating a new world and inserting a new simple model and going to the mess editor by pressing E. You can insert simple models by pressing insert. I'm not sure if I covered that right then. So we'll create a new terrain. Um, because this will essentially be a editor model, it doesn't need to have like any kind of poly count, so we'll just kind of have it only having the one polygon. And for size, we're going to have it a bit sizey. It's just a bit sizey. Don't need to have any vertical height on the uh, terrain tool if you're not using the displace map. And since really we only have the four vertices on a single polygon, I don't think we need it at all. All right. And that should be our terrain for what sand whale will, will determine where sand whale can roam and where sand whale can kill. So anyways, going to want to go to our tools here and going to go into the paint displace tool. We'll, for now, only be dealing with the paint tool, which will be these last five options here. Art channel. All right. Now here it says, please select UV map, and it also says, select target texture. It doesn't say please for some reason. Well, I guess it's fed in there, but anyways. Now there's no option for a selecting a UV map here. We have to select it down here at the bottom right corner. We want a we want to have selected VM, what's his vertex map, and we want to have selected T, what's his texture. This is also described kind of here. And we want in here our texture, or our UV map name texture, what's his the default UV map. That's created when you, that any polygons are put into when you, you know, create a um, texture, when you create a polygon. Totally professional tutorial. And now it is asking us for a target texture. Now in Series Editor 2, I believe, you could create a new one here in this area, but in Series Editor 3.5, not so much. So we'll have to create that elsewhere. So for that, we will make a um, Seder or whatnot for this. For our purposes, we'll be using the plain Seder. I really don't think it, the um, Sanual Terrain needs anything more than that. And we will create a new static texture. And for the base UV map, we'll be putting in this texture, our uh, UV map. It's only slightly confusing. All right. And in our textures options and terrain and whatnot here, um, to actually have it work at all, it actually has to have size. So we might as well do that while we're here. The size can be the size has to be exponential of two, I believe. Like some examples being two fifty six, five twelve, and ten twenty four. Could have any combination of those between widths and heights, but since we have a square terrain, that's we kind of maybe want a square texture. For our UV wrapping, we want. Um, doesn't really matter if your um, sandwell terrain is smaller, or if your sandwell terrain is bigger than the entire map, it shouldn't matter. But otherwise, you might want to discriminate. So if you have a repeat, the texture will repeat invisibly off into infinity. But if you have it on clamped edge, not sure about clamped border, maybe it'll do the same thing. But if you have a clamp, um, any any uh, part of the texture that hits the edge will, re will continue on to infinity. So say if you have some black here, that will continue on. If you have some maybe red here, that will continue on. So yeah, it's probably a good thing to remember. Not sure if it also... Oh, whatever, anyways. So, now we have that. It still says we want to select a target texture. Now, for that, we want to save this texture. So we'll save it over this old tech, this old thing I have here, because I've done several takes of this. God, dang it. Yes, I'll save over that. And for the sake of laziness, I'll just copy and paste this over here. In Siri, you can just copy paste the um, local texture over there, but I, for the sake of simplicity, just save it somewhere. So anyways, so here is our uh, texture here. It's kind of a thing. 
And now we are able to paint a and or displace. Now, currently we're in view 9, which is the default view. Um, on the numpad, you can press 6 to switch to the view that will be seen by, you know, any players in the map. You can also, I believe, maybe, I don't even know. But anyways, although although we are in here, we are going to change a few things. For one, up your auto exposure. Two, we're going to review the grid, because I'm not going to play, say, a chapter info entity, because I'm lazy. I need to know where center is. So here is our um, brush here. You can probably hardly see it over the grid, because everything's white. Anyways, if we, we're currently in the art tunnel. If we click and press, we can paint some red. And everything else turns white, because I don't know why. I guess how the paint displays tool works. But anyways, hey, we painted some red. That was great. So there's some red. So I'm going to quickly paint me a masterpiece here. Alright, there should be our masterpiece. Except I'm sure. Soft centered. There we go. And there is my masterpiece. I feel like suiting it with an arrow for some reason. Um, for general use of the paint tool, you can. Left clicking, you know, allows you to paint. If you hold control, the cursor will turn black, and you can actually click to erase your currently selected saddle. If you select, um, if you want to erase all of something, you can just select texture RGBA, and then it'll, and when you do that, it'll erase all of it. Also, texture RGBA will paint all of them. What's I don't think we'll be needing right now. Um, uh, we're gonna erase a little bit more. Another thing you can do is hold control and shift, talking about left control and shift, and then left click and move your mouse left and right. You can change the size of your um, brass. It's kind of nice. So, I believe that is all we need for our um, sand whale map here, or sand whale terrain, whatnot. Alright, well, for uh, one odd thing about the paint displace tool, normally you can press D to just drop the tool, but pressing it in the paint displace tool selects displace. I believe there's also maybe other commands for the um, other channels, but I'm not going to test them right now. But yeah, to exit out of the um, thing, you just have to press the tilde key, which is on the very left of the keyboard beside one. So yeah, here is this. Now to describe the various sections of the um, sand whale terrain, the red area is your safe area. The yellow area, I'm not so sure about. It is generally the safe area. There might be some extra thing on it, but I don't know. Um, the green area is area where sand whale can kill you, but where sand whale will not appear. I .e. sand whale will not pop up. Really, sand will not pop up in any of these areas, but if you're standing on the green, he will just kill you anyways. If you're standing on on the uh, black here, um, that's where sand, the black is where sand will can appear, and you will visibly see him popping out of the desert to, um, you know, come and eat you. You'll also die there. This is also a thing there. So yeah, that is our sand well, sand well terrain. Now we're going to go back to the world editor, pressing E. And yes, here is our sandwell terrain. However, it is not declared as sandwell terrain quite yet. Also, center view on the world. Uselessly. All right. So we are going to need to insert a sandwell controller from the entity list. Uh, switching back to nine view here, so we can actually see it. Okay. For here, we're going to want to set the top map. I believe we have to set the top map to the whatever texture we're using, and the floor to this by holding... Wait, did I even say that right? Oh, whatever. Control-Alt control, control Alt and, like, I think click-drag, was it? I, oh, no. I think it was, like... I forget how specific I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, have that selected, and then Control-Alt, then click your entity. All right. And now it says it has baked. Um, if you ever need to rebake the map, what you will need to do if you ever repaint anything here, 
you just go here and click on needs rebaking and it'll automatically rebake it. This is kind of nice. Actually, it's kind of a thing, but whatever. So anyways, now everything's great. We can almost go test the map. However, we need an actual terrain because now we've actually selected this as the floor. It is now actually an editor model. See, this is view um, six here. Yeah, it's an editor model now. And more specifically, if we go here, click editor models, hey, it's gone. Uh, just, where is it again? All right. So we're going to want to create another terrain. So we're going to move this down a bit, and we're going to clone it. Only for the sake of um, sewing off. If you're, if you're, um, for your world, you can just have whatever the heck else on top. Um, number of clones, one. Don't think it matters where it goes. Because I'll modify the position anyways. So yeah. And now, before we do anything, though, um, for Samuel to actually attack you on the terrain, you need to have the material for the terrain set. So for here, we're going to load up and our material attributes, sand underscore sand whale. So yeah, this is the default one used by Crow Team. If you're wanting to create your own material that Samuel can attack you on, Create your own material, and then it's like this. Trigger sand whale. So yeah, that needs to be there. So anyways, now that we have the terrain all set up, I need to get back to the normal editor. And now we are ready to test, I believe. So press T to go into tests. Thank you for buying the game. So yeah, here we are. Here we're on red sand here. Yes, it's totally sand. So if we dance around here, um, really nothing will hurt us here, except maybe the random enemies that your normal type map would have. If we stand on the yellow, um, no, not much of a difference. Stand on the green, run out into the desert, whatnot, and then suddenly, hey, hear that earthquake? Hey, Sandwell, how's it going? And then we get eaten by Sandwell. Now, like I said, if you stand, if you're in the um, black there, that's where sand whale can appear. If you're standing in the green, hey you. All right. Standing green, sand whale will not appear on the green. And instead, he will pop out of an area in the black, and you will teleport into him. And of course, we can always do the alternative and dance, dance here, and kind of like backtrack into the safe zone. That one moves a bit fast, so, it's... so yeah. And that is that. And for the sake of showing that this is not complete BS, um, we see terrain here. We can go and put on an actual texture to the thing. Gonna instead of that, going to go and can I just go to the root no, desk? All right. Avoiding my custom folder because you don't need to know what works I have in progress. Um, gonna go quickly, just randomly load up. Where are the balls? Is everything? It's generic, maybe. Sand, sand, sand. Sand, sand, sand. Looks like sand. Slow down, sand. Have to stretch it. Ah, bit laggy for some reason. And okay, we'll exit out of freaking mess editor, world editor, and press test. Now here we are. We have a bunch of sand. And we can run out into the desert here. And then we're attacked by sand. Well, and then we are mauled mercilessly. Running isn't working! I actually it's lagging the inevitable, but not by much. So anyways, yeah. That is how you create a sand whale floor so that sand whale can eat your players. <coughs> and... Game crass. Editor crass. Yes, that was fun. Fun thing, the last, like, two takes have ended in crasses for, like, no reason. 
Well, I guess it's a sign of stopping, but whatever. So anyways, yeah, that was this tutorial. So yeah. And now everyone will have Sandwell in their maps, and it will be great. So yeah.